You know what time it is? It is time for another Slav month. Hello there everyone and welcome. I am Mountain General, your local Slovak man. And a year ago I said, fuck it, May is Slav month, the month where I will be only playing a Slavic nations. So if you didn't see it, there is a playlist with all videos from the last year, so feel free to check them all out. And today we will begin Slav month, the country that I wanted to play for for a longer time now. And you can also count this into my imaginary series on what countries should receive a rework. And also, if you want to support the channel, don't forget to buy a nice t-shirt for yourself. Now that it is Slav month, you can support Bulgarian Lives Matter, the true BLM, or a Slovak Congo t-shirt. Link is in the description. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's video and you are new here, don't forget to subscribe because we are reaching those 100 thousand subscribers very soon and well here we are with the Czechoslovakia but today we are not going with the usual strategy for Czechoslovakia just to sit in our Sudetenland forts no 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 we will be defending Czechoslovakia at its worst where we look like an half eaten apple you know I'm going to say it for Czechoslovakia the focus tree is just uh, a dishonor pathetic I feel like this is a great dishonor to what Czechoslovakia truly was. Before World War II, Czechoslovakia was producing a lot of fucking guns. I don't now remember the exact placement, but we were in the top 10 in the world. And shortly after the establishment of the Republic, we have won two wars. One against Hungary and one against Poland. Just don't look at the war crimes. And we've also a nonsensical path where we just deliver the Sudetenland and become German bitch. But none of that really matters because now I will do what I have never done before. I will think while playing Hearts of Iron 4. Like for me, Hearts of Iron 4 is the last game that I really enjoy. And a game where I was able to always turn my brain off. I really don't care about gaming unless it's Hoi 4 and today I will rarely think for the first time while playing it. Now when I'm thinking about everything we will deliver the Sudetenland and we will lose all these lands also South Slovakia and then also I don't think Carpathian routine but maybe that too. So we will solely be defending the Bohemia and Morava and by the focuses we can get 7 level forts here and then 3 level forts all around here. So yeah, basically this will be what we will be defending plus these two. So yeah, I can see that we will have a lot of fun here. Oh boo 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 the big Germans we don't care about them. Also we have to fix this little divided nation problem by industrial legacy. And like I want to point out this stupidity because you see the Czech industry and the balance industry investments like this seems okay we have the civilian industry but what the Czech industry does is virtually the same. Just civil civilian factories even though they are military factory icons. Like you can't make this shit up, this is the worst fucking focus tree. So we are choosing here either get civilian industry and fix up your country or just get civilian industry and fuck all the Slovaks. Slowly we are shaping our little industry and also our little new fortifications here. Also good thing is that we have a quite high war support so we can just switch to partial mobilization and witness our force just rising up. Now united we stand, together we fall, after all it's called Czechoslovakia. So it's time to fortify ourselves and get that sweet sweet reputable population up. Oh yes, so now shit is going down, Anschluss of Austria, oh no. The Germans will now slowly move towards us. But fear not my friends, I have finally completed all the construction focuses that I wanted. Now we will just construct few forts here and there and everything will be fine. Like yeah, after these focuses I don't really know what to do next. Maybe some political shit. But I just really love how I can get all the members of the fascist Slovak government, like the first president, the prime minister, the minister of defense. This will be very fun, right? Hungary secures Romanian support for the yeah, Not on my watch, boy. And now we will be the bastion of democracy, but that political power is kinda useless because I don't 
don't really know what to buy for it because our advisors are pure shit. Now yeah, the Germans have started to justify on us and this is very useless, thank you Britain. Like Chamberlain when he came back to London with that paper, he just wiped his ass with it because it is that useful. Ah yes, the good old Munich diktat, like before that we will do a little trolling in this land, blow up the infrastructure, delete all the factories and also for the Polish and also for the Hungarians. So yeah, this is a dark day for Europe indeed. But also then we will do the focus trust in the West because uh, nothing bad ever happened, <laughs> right? But you know, this is all good, this is all good. This just gives us more time to prepare for the German Reich. So yeah, it is time to test out my experimental division. So yeah, we will probably lose like instantly against the Germans, but it is worth the try. Uh, you see now the Hungarians took control of all those damaged railroads. They will have to repair it for the themselves. Uh, we did just a little trolling on everyone. I mean the question is, was it all worth it? Well, we will soon see. Uh, now we have here the fate of Czechoslovakia. I will hold it for a few days because I can. Now our president Edvard Beneš has a direct message for German Führer. Niemiecki wódce nam akurat tak může vyhulit brka. And with these words we have gave the Germans the war go to attack us. So we have a pretty good fortification I would say but we will see how well it can hold up against the Germans. Maybe slowly we can even upgrade it to level 6 and the war begins. Okay, no German movement to our s oh fuck oh shit. Yo what the fuck the Germans are ready. Oh no, oh fuck oh no, oh shit. This is just too bad. I kinda expected that this would happen, not gonna lie. Okay then, we will still try to defend our great land of ours. No step back boys. It would be quite cool if we... Yeah, this, this, this is lost. There is no doubt that the Germans will win here. Yeah, our supplies are fucked. Everything is... Uh, it is what it is. What else can I say? If we can slowly retreat to Prague, that would be quite good. But uh, it's not looking that good. But let's try to slowly retreat to more defensible position. And we will go very slowly about it. So yeah, we will have our last stand at Brno. So yeah, we will be just limiting ourselves to three tiles. As we say, this is where the fun begins. It is manageable. I do believe in that. <laughs> nah, no, just send help. We may have lost like a bit of land here and there, but it is all good. We just have to believe that uh, we can hold ourselves. Oh yeah, this is just like defending Ethiopia. It just gives me the, those Ethiopian vibes. We can hold Hold on, we have to, for the freedom of the world. Yeah, they, they, they didn't even capture the whole Slovakia, so we will just destroy all that infrastructure. And yeah, less they attack, more we gain. Yeah, we are going for the total mobilization and all that would serve, because that's the only thing we can do right now. So yeah, we somewhat have a little industry here, and trying to think positively, and we are totally fucked. So yeah, basically we will rebuild Czechoslovakia from just this. Don't you worry about anything. Our industry is working day and night to outproduce the Germans. The funny mustache man, more like unfunny one testicle man. So yeah, I would say it's not that bad. We just have to cycle our factories. Now we have enough support equipment. We will make towered anti-tank. And oh boy, oh boy, Poland is just joining the fun. Yeah, it would be quite nice if I could join the allies as well. Thank you very much Britain, very cool. Oh look at the brave Polish go, they are liberating our territory. Ah, uh, they are already dead. Oh how unfortunate. Now we will just recall attaché from our friend that died and we will send it to another friend that will soon die too. You know, I don't get one thing, my brother in Christ, how come we are exporting for steel when we need everything and we can't even 
export it to anyone around us. Also I will do a little risky thing and slowly train my army up just by two divisions at a time. You know it says a lot about us when we with three military factories can maintain our army perfectly and almost have it all equipped. This is the Czechoslovakian miracle and yeah, we are just the last bastion of democracy in the fascist Europe. Oh yeah and this is the shit I was really worried about. Well what can we do just pray to god that the strikes will blow over soon because yeah we kinda need all those factories in work. I mean I don't think anyone would be striking right now if this was a real situation. This situation demands you to be a man not a little bitch. So yeah no shit you are all heroes just make up those guns and give me that sweet sweet stability. Soon our army will be fully equipped and Germans won't do shit about it. Oh yeah and I just randomly remember that I was just using one factory for trade and instead of that I could be just using it for building here yeah. You learn something every day. So yeah slowly I am even able to build a new army here. Get fucking real, the Germans are just naval invading the Ireland. And again, very convenient guys, thank you very much for sabotaging our own country here. In the time of need, they are just doing their best to screw us over. Finally they made up their fucking minds again, for a second time, hopefully now that it is above 50 they won't just... Oh we strike again, motherfucker I would shoot all the non-working workers here. Oh shit, oh fuck, the Germans are coming. Well, we are now hopefully quite ready for them, but yeah, we are just making them sick and tired of our existence. Yeah, this will be very close. Like, we can't lose this because we are the last bastion of freedom and democracy and we held for so fucking long, I don't want... I don't want this to be ruined, to be honest. We are still holding strong, no, our defenses were breached. No, no, fuck, so close yet so far, now we are an exiled government with 5000 people, so yeah, we can't do much now. And who the fuck is this, I, I don't remember having an generic leader here, neither do I remember these two guys, okay. So yeah, now we are just like the good old Czechoslovakians during the first world war, we need to form our legion and fight against the Germans. Now the good thing is that our legion legitimacy is 100 and we have a pretty nice bonuses against the Germans but I don't feel like they will really help us a lot. So we will see what we can do here. Yeah we still have one spy so uh, we can't really do much with him or our spy network when we can't upgrade it. So this is just super nice. You know this is just unreal, I don't know how but 11 of our boys just arrived to England and they are all undersupplied and tired. So yeah thank you Churchill very much for giving me back my divisions and I don't know who these two guys are but they have the same surname so they are probably Brudas. Anyway this is our new start in England. But you know look at the bright side we still have 11 divisions it could be way worse. We could be just fighting here in the south of France and get slaughtered. Yeah go go United Kingdom don't get slaughtered uh, in uh, Italy. Probably not the best idea to land here honestly. Oh fucking finally. This just took like forever, two years late so let's see how the Germans will do in this one. Now I can even observe what the fuck is even happening here. It seems like that the Soviets were able to push in some parts and they are being pushed in other parts. So we will see how they can with two added years of preparation deal with the Germans. I'm just druder kneeling this game at this point. With 11 of my divisions slowly getting ready to, I don't know, maybe fight? Ah yes, another British landing, hopefully this one wouldn't, hopefully this one won't lead into another catastrophe, hopefully it will bring down the, those damn Italians to their knees. You know what, fuck it, Czechoslovakia is now in Ethiopia, thank you Churchill for giving us new land to develop and use. So yeah, rebuilding Czechoslovakia goes brrrr, yeah we can't really afford 
afford here we can't afford anything better but who would want anything else oh yeah full of room very nice and i am able to finally build some ships as well now after getting some manpower we will go and help in the italian front you know i like it here more addis abeba is the new prague boys now come my brothers we are going on a jihad against the italians here you see they are just running away from the czechoslovakian army in exile yo bro give me room back i just need all those factories oh okay, yeah you see when our army is in use it is just so fucking good oh this is just uh, so many fucking convoys but i take it anyway oh okay, yeah just look at this beauty the czechoslovakian encirclement of the italians uh, all the children will one day read about the czechoslovakian war crimes in italy no one is safe here hide your children and wives and italians czechoslovakians are just going to slaughter them all yeah time to push italians even further so yeah the juggernaut of czechoslovakia won't be stopped so yeah before they can escape we will try to slaughter them all and fucking finally even the d-day has happened oh yeah this is just too funny <laughs> these are the average people from czechoslovakia yes of course stanislav kocian is the most powerful because he can say the n-word yeah this is just a classical gypsy from czechoslovakia nothing to worry about he will steal all the enemy's intelligence it's now or fucking never we have to capture this city at every cost so this is our first batch of Czechoslovakian Ethiopians. They were so motivated by the Slovak poems that they have even took on the Slovak nationalism as their own. And they look like this. They are the most powerful Slovaks because they can say N Standing here I realize you were just like me trying to make history. This is just how it feels to be honest. To be assaulting this city for so much fucking time but finally italy has surrendered and half of their fucking equipment goes to me you know i have to say the germans are the worst race of cockroaches here in hoi 4 it's like why don't you just fucking die already but anyway look at my war crime circle oh yeah and the berlin fell into british hands and the f germany is almost dead and i am finally trying to conquer my way back to czechoslovakia to liberate our land and finally we are slowly stepping back to our soil boys we are almost home now boys and girls we are finally home unfortunately we weren't able to capture back these territories but i feel like we have overcompensated Compensated here in Germany quite well for that. Königsberg more like Karlove Vary 2 and Memel more like Nemel. I feel like Czechoslovakia also needs a focus on deporting the Germans. So yeah, if you have enjoyed this first Slav month video of this month, like the video and don't forget to buy a Bulgarian Lives Meta t-shirt to support the true BLM. And if you are new here, subscribe for more Hearts of Iron 4 content. And as always, big thanks goes to my channel members, their names are in the description and on the screen right now. And a special thanks goes to The Laminator and Razornon for being the highest channel members.